The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, fourth chapter, text number six, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on March 26, 1974, in Bombay, India. Translation Although I am unborn, and my transcendental body never deteriorates, and although I am the Lord of all sentient beings, I still appear in every millennium in my original transcendental form. So, Krishna, <coughs> the Supreme Personality of Godhead, explaining the method of his appearance and disappearance. <coughs> People do not know it. Uh, just like with sun, because we do not see at night, Formerly, some people used to think the sun is now dead or gone. But later on, by scientific method, <coughs> they have come to know the sun is always in the sky due to our different position. We do not see the sun at night. Otherwise, the sun is there. This is, if this is possible for an ordinary material thing, how much it is greatly possible for the Supreme Spirit. Therefore, <coughs> Ajopi, son, Krishna has no birth, no death. We have also no birth and death because we are part and parcel of Krishna. We have no birth and death that is explained already in the second chapter of Bhagavad-gītā. Na jāyate nāṁ yati vatadāci na hannate hannavāni sarīre So, if the part and parcel particles, a small atomic particle, we are atomic particle. Our magnitude is described in the Shastra, Padma Purana and Upanishad also. Kesagra satubhāvasya satudhākalpita sacha. The top uh, portion of the hair, if you divide it into one hundred parts, and again, that one hundred part, if you divide again hundred part, that is the magnitude of the spirit soul. Kesagra satabhāgasya satadhākalpita sacha jīva bhāga sabhijñaya ca anantāya kalpate. So we, living entities, a small particle, very atomic small particle, one ten thousand part of the top of the hair. It can simply be imagined. We are achinta. But we understand from Vedic literature what is the magnitude. It is not niraka. That is not a fact. It has got aka. But at our present position, material condition, we cannot measure it. And because we cannot measure it, just like in geometry I have studied, the point has no breadth and length. But actually there is breadth and length, but we cannot measure it. Similarly, the magnitude of the spirit soul is smaller than the point. We cannot measure it with our material measuring instruments. Anyway, even if you can, that is the magnitude. Ah. So that small particle is described in the Bhagavad-gītā that na jāyate na ah. That a small particle has also no birth and death. Na hannate hannamāni sarīre. 
Uh, it is so powerful that that because that small particle is within this body, dehinasmin jatha dehe, it is so healthy, so bright, moving so swiftly, acting so nicely, it has got so nice brain. And as soon as that small particle, atomic particle, is gone from this body, it is useless, a lump of matter. So, if so much power is there for the small particle of the Supreme Soul, how much the Supreme Soul, who is all-pervading, eh, universal form, how much potency he has got, you can just imagine. Therefore Krishna says, <coughs> Ajopi, although uh, I have no bad time Ajopi san uh, atma. Atma means this body, atma means this mind, and atma means the soul. Three things. They are called atma. So Krishna's either body or mind or the soul. There is no difference. Uh, Krishna's body is abhoyo. Our body is boyo. It deteriorates, changes. Ask them to stop. Allah let them go. <coughs> Uh, our body deteriorates, changes. Just like we are born, a small child, baby, it grows, it stays for some time. Then it makes some byproducts. From this body we get some children, byproducts. Then we deteriorate in old age, and this body is finished. This is called sarabhita, six kinds of changes of material body. But Krishna hasn't got such changes. Uh, Krishna's uh, body is abhaya. His mind is abhaya. That means as we have got uh, difference between our soul and the body, Krishna hasn't got that. Uh, abhya atma. His mind, his body, and his atma, his soul, the same thing. Or are the his supreme soul, whole. There is no difference between his body, his mind, and soul. This is to be understood. Abhya atma. Uh, those who cannot understand, they make difference between atma, Krishna's atma, and Krishna's body. Uh, they think, the Mahavadi philosopher, they say that <coughs> Krishna, he is God, uh, or godly, they have got the imagination, but his body is made of matter. No, that is not. If his body had been made of matter, then how he, he could remember millions of years ago what he did? We cannot remember even what we did yesterday night or just this morning. We forget. The body is changing. The uh, blood corpuscles are changing. That is scientific. But Krishna has not got that. Therefore he is explaining himself. We can understand Krishna by Krishna's explanation. We should not make any a rascal interpretation, then we will not be able to understand Krishna. Oh. Because our senses are imperfect. Athapite deva padam bujadayam prasadu leshanu grihita eva hi janati tattam. Either you have to understand Krishna from the uh, 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 Krishna personally, that is not possible, or one who has not received the favor of Krishna, 
From him you can understand Krishna. Atapite deva padam vujaddam prasadale sanu grihite. One he is favored with a little mercy of the lotus feet of Krishna. He can understand Krishna. Bhaktama mamijana. One who has taken shelter of Krishna, that means he is pure devotee. From him you can understand what is Krishna. Atapiti deva padam vujaddam prasada lesan prasada lesan. Minute quantity of mercy, one who has received from Krishna, he can understand. Or uh, here is Krishna explaining himself that what he is, uh, Ajo, he has no birth and death. One who thinks that Krishna appeared and he is now dead, now another Krishna has appeared. That is not the fact. <coughs> Krishna is one. He can expand himself. In many forms, that is different thing. But Krishna, Adhaita, Achyuta, Anadi, Ananta Rupa, Ananta, He has multi, <coughs> innumerable form, but he still he is one. Adhaita, Adhaita, Achyuta, He does not fall. Hey, Krishna, suppose Ishara Sarvabhutana, Riddhesa, Arjuna, Tishthati, because Krishna has expanded Himself in many millions of forms to stay within the heart of the living being, that does not mean Krishna has fallen. Abhyatma. He is the same Krishna. There is no difference. Uh, Krishna is existing in innumerable universes. Uh, Krishna is existing everywhere. Still, he is Abhyatma. From the original Krishna, uh, although he has expanded to millions and trillions unlimited, still he is Abhyo, without any minus. It is not like that. Uh, we have got some bank balance, and if it is taken away millions times, then it is finished. No. Purnasa, Purnamadaya, Purnameva, Abhishtati. This is Krishna. This is the verdict of the Vedanta. Purnasa, Purnamada, Purnamada. Uh, Purnat, Purnamada, Chate. Everything which is emanating from Krishna, that is complete. There is no deficiency. Everything. Then Madhya Sagataha, uh, the absolute truth. That is absolute truth. So, in all the Vedas, Upanishads, Sanghitas, the same thing is uh, described in different way. Nitya nityanam chetana chetanana. In this way, here Krishna himself uh, describes himself that ajopi and abhyatma. Uh, abhyatma. He does, uh, Krishna's body, mind, there is no difference. Uh, absolute. What is Krishna's body? That is Krishna's soul. What is Krishna's mind? That is Krishna's soul. Or what is Krishna's soul? That is Krishna's body. That is Krishna. Abhyatma. Ajopisana <coughs> Abhyatma Bhutana Ishara. Ishara. He is not ordinary living being. Bhutana. Ishara. That is the difference. He is Ishara. Uh, we are not Ishara. We may be Ishara. Ishara means controller. But that we are not the Supreme Ishara. The Supreme Ishara is called Krishna. Ishara Parama Krishna. Ah. We are not Supreme Ishara. The so called uh, <coughs> incarnation of God, they declare that I am God. Ah. But he, he may be God. God means. A subordinate God. Uh, not the Supreme God. The Supreme God is Krishna. God means controller. Uh, you have, you may have some controlling power. Admit it. But you are not Supreme Controller. The Supreme Controller is Ishara. Therefore, yeah, Krishna. Therefore Krishna says, Bhutanam Ishara vi. Ishara. 
All Bhūtā. Bhūtā means all living entities or everything which has appeared within this material world. Janmārda Sajatā, He is the <coughs> supreme source of everything. That is also described in the tenth uh, chapter that Aham Ādhi Dīvāna Matta Sarvam Pravartate Everything. Matta Paratharam Nanya Kimchi Jasti Nananya. These things are described. So we have to accept Krishna like that. And if we make our own interpretation, rascal like, that will not help us to understand what is Krishna and what is Bhagavad Gita. That is going on. Generally. Krishna has no existence. Ah. Krishna, there was no Krishna, it is story. There was no battlefield of Kurukshetra. These things are going on by, uh, spoken by so-called political leaders and scholars. But that is not the fact. They do not understand Krishna, simply mislead people. Uh, therefore, the world is in chaotic condition. Try to understand Krishna. Then your life will be successful. Krishna is explaining. Uh, Krishna is so kind uh, that jada jada hi dharma sa, he explains why he comes. Ajopi san nabhyatma bhutana mishropi san sambhavami jubhiji why? Just to remind us what is Krishna. Just to teach us because we misunderstand. We are so fools and nasters. We misunderstand Krishna. Uh, we cannot understand. If we simply understand Krishna, then our life is such as. Taktadi hankunar janmanaiti mamiti kaumpya. The simple thing. Just try to understand Krishna. The simple one thing will make your life successful. Uh, so Krishna is explaining himself. Ajopisanabhyatma bhutanamishri prakitin shamadi style. Prakitin swam. Personal. Personal energy. Uh, personal form. Krishna is and uh, he has got his personal form. That Samasanda with float. That is described in the Brahma Sang. Uh, Chintamani Prakara Sadma Su Kalpa Brikha Lakshabriti Su Suravira Vipalam. He is very fond of tending cows, Suravi, Ravipara. Lakshmi Sahasa Sata Samrama Sebamanam Govindamadi Purusam Tamaham. Benum Kandantam. He is very fond of playing on flute. Aravinda Dalayata Aksang. His eyes are just like petals of the lotus flower. These are described in the Vedic literature. So Krishna is not formless. It is not that uh, the devotees of Krishna, by imagination, they have, as the Mahavadi Raskel says, that they have uh, made a form by imagination. No. This is this, this kind in the Vedas. Uh, so, and Krishna, when appeared on this planet, the same thing was visible. Those who have seen authorities, uh, just like that saying, Ojo. Uh, he has seen personally. He has described in the Bhagavad Gita. Para Brahma Param Dhamma Pavitram Param Ambhava. Uh, your personality is unknown to the so-called scholars. But uh, authorities like Vyasa, Devala, Narada, Vasita, they accept your this form. Uh, it is very difficult. These things are there you'll find in the tenth chapter. So Krishna is not formless, but his what kind of form he has got, he is describing himself. Prakriting Samadhista. How we are we are forced to take birth by the uh, 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 manipulation of the external material energy. Prakite Kiramalani Gunai Karmani Sarvas. Ahankara Vimuratma. Kattaham iti mannati. Ahankara, we are under the 
clutches of the external energy uh, or material energy. Krishna has got multi energies. Parasa Shakti Bibhidai Vasya. Uh, Maya means energy also. Uh, Maya means energy. And, and Maya means illusion also. And Maya means affection. There are different meanings of Maya. So here it is say Prakiting, Prakiti or Maya. Prakiting Samadhisthaya. He has got multi energies. That energies have been divided into three. External energy, internal energy, and marginal energy. That will also you'll find in the same chapter. Aparayam itastu vidhi me prakitiṃ para. Paraprakriti and aparaprakriti. The aparaprakriti is this material energy. And the paraprakriti is spiritual energy. There are two kinds of prakriti. So that spiritual, because Krishna is spiritual whole, so his spiritual energy, prakriti sham, that internal potency or the spiritual energy. So his body is spiritual. His body is not material. Therefore, abhyatma, uh, uh, it is imperishable. Uh, these things to be understood. Prakriti samudhisthaya sammamami atmamayaya. Again he says atmamaya. He is not forced to take birth by the external energy. He appears by his own energy, internal energy or spiritual energy. And therefore he is abhyatma. Ajopishan abhyatma bhutanam isharopishan is still and we should not uh, take Krishna as one of us because he is Bhutanam Ishar. Bhutanam Ishar uh, Just like a, a crude example may be given when there was independence uh, movement. Mahatma Gandhi went to jail. Many, many big leaders. But there are other criminals also, pickpockets and thieves and murderers, if they would think, now Mahatma Gandhi has come into jail, we are the same. We are the same. No. Similarly, when Krishna comes, if the rascals and fools think that Krishna is also like us, as we have come into this material world, they are fools. No. no. We are fools. Uh, just like criminal, a pickpocket or a thief, a rogue, a murderer, he is forced to. Uh, uh, so, of course, here, uh, Mahatma Gandhi was also forced. But that is not the case. Uh, because he is the controller. Bhutanam is Sharopisha. He, the material energy cannot force Krishna. Because he is Ishara. He is the controller. Uh, a controller cannot be forced. Uh, just like in the British constitution it is said that a king can do no wrong. Even king appears to do, have done something wrong. He does not come within the law. Similarly, although Krishna has killed so many demons, does not mean that he is criminal. He is still the Bhutana Vishara. He is still. That is to be understood. Krishna, uh, uh, superficially, he has done so many things which is sinful for others. Uh, just like uh, this is, these are very great subject matter. Uh, this was questioned by Purikhit Maharaj. Purikhit Maharaj, when he danced with the uh, uh, girls of Brajubhumi, Rasa dance. Uh, so Purikhit Maharaj inquired, from Sukadeva Goswami, that Krishna, who came to establish the principles of religion, how he danced with the girls and wives of others. Uh, that was explained. That Tejiyasāya Madhusāya, Tejiyasāya Madhusāya, 
Krishna danced with others' wife or uh, sister or other girls. They were all girls. They came at midnight, midnight to dance with him. Uh, but they are also not material, that is spiritual. It requires little brain to understand. Uh, so Parikitma Sukhdev Goswami explained that these things should not be considered by the conditioned soul. They should not even dream of this. Uh, it is a different thing. Uh, and if you think that Krishna uh, has a fall because he danced with others' wife, so he explained the Tejiyasang and Adosha. Tejiyasang, a thing which is very, very powerful, he is not contaminated. That is the conclusion. Just like the sun, the sun soaks water from urine. We pass urine, urine somewhere, and the sun soaks the water, uh, the urine. Uh, that, that is poisonous, uh, that is infectious. But that sun does not become infected, because he is so powerful. If that is possible for ordinary material things, how much powerful is Krishna? So we should not discuss the rasa uh, generally, because unless one is advanced in spiritual consciousness, in Krishna consciousness, they should not try to understand what is rasa It is very confidential. It is meant for the liberated soul, those who are liberated by devotional service. Uh, actually, those who are engaged in devotional service, they are liberated. They are not within the material world. Mancha bhavicharini bhakti yogi na jasevate sagunan samatitaitan brahma bhuyayata. So this Rāsa-līlā is to be released by the paramhansas, liberated soul. nidvitta tarsai rupa viyamāna vāsrava vedyam dharma prajita kaitava atra parama nirma sarāna parama nirma sarāna vāsrava vāsrava vedyam atra So we should not jump. First of all, we should read Bhagavad-gītā very carefully. Try to understand Krishna, what is Krishna. Uh, 